session of retail graph today we will be learning about master inventory product category that is master product category once we click on master product category we will have this window in front of us as in product master we have changed the grid layout we can also change the grid layout by right click going to right side grid layout and then setting the grid layout as per our requirement and then saving it Similarly, as you can see, there are other tabs available at the top, like Home, View, Options. This syntax remains the same in different masters and different forms in the software. So, like Home has New, Edit, Form View, Print, Delete, Refresh. View has again Preview, Print Options, Set Grid Layout, and Save. And other options like Export to Excel, System Maintenance, Log Reports, Send SMS, Export Import Data, and Detail Search. So we now click on new to understand the different features of product category this is the new window that comes up when once we click on new again here we can click on the name of the product category sales tax we can select it from here or we can define new we can also define it in the master of the tax similarly we can define purchase tax category group for example beverages is the category group and product category is cold drinks so there can be different product category within category groups alias again we can manually enter alias or we can simply auto generate it limit discount by is the discount limitation we would like to set for example 10 percent or 5 percent calculation method for sale rate is defined here for example MRP minus discount discount again we can set here 5 percent 10 percent discount on sales rate on sales rate minus discount or on margin can also be set from here now sales rate calculation method on cost rate plus margin again we can set the margin here 5 percent 10 percent margin again can be on cost rate on sales rate and on MRP we can also take it from the product master at the time of filling in the product master we have filled in certain details so we can take it from the product master also or from product master user defined so that once we can also define it at the time of the end round of factor we can put a round of factor for example 0.5 so anything that is less than 0.5 will be considered on the lesser, lesser scale and on the above 0.5 can be considered above for example 4.34 will be considered 4 and 4.54 will be considered 5. Next is trade rate calculation method. Again trade rate can be calculated by just clicking here and selecting MRP, sales rate, purchase rate, cost rate or product master user defined rate plus the margin percentage that we will be setting here and again the round of factor as explained earlier. Similarly distribution rate calculation on MRP, sales rate and other options setting up of margin and round of factor then MRP calculation rate similarly selecting sales rate purchase rate cost rate or product master use defined setting up of margin and again the round of factor we can decide here now we move on to deduction percent for return for damaged products we can define let's say 15 percent or 20 percent will be deducted for expiry products again we can define 20 25 percent can be deducted and 100 percent will be deducted if the these many days of expiry that is expiry deduction on 100% on these number of days unique ID editor for example we need unique ID for three different items so we can select three in prompt one IMI number we can enter in prompt two battery number and charger number and the width is the number of alphabets that it has for example if we click on 15 or 10 so we can define that it, it has to be of 10 digits then schedule number and the serial number SQ definition also we can set from here by just clicking on SQ definition and selecting the strategic key unit definition and adding the description of the product category hope you have understood the product category thank you